Hello again. This song, A Pub With No Beer, is the next song in our series on songs and tunes popular in Ireland. An Australian Slim Dusty uh, had a huge hit with this song back in 1957, but it was the Dubliners, I suppose, who made it popular here in Ireland. The song is in the key of G, and we just have the three major chords uh, from that scale, which are G major. <laughs> And C major and also D major. I'm using a pick strum pattern to accompany this song. What that basically means is I'm picking the root note which is the one beat. So we'll take the chord of G major. The root note is the note that gives the chord its name and in this case that's G and G is this note here on the third fret of the top string the sixth string so we pick G the note G and then we followed by two down strums and we count one two three one two three one two three one two three what I was doing when I was playing I was including an up strum after the tree beat, so as follows we pick strong, strong. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now that's a very easy um, accompaniment for the G chord because the, the note is on the sixth string, so there's, it's very easy to find it. Whereas when we go to C, that's the root note for the C chord, obviously, and it's the third fret of the fifth string. So we've got to get in between um, two strings here with our pick when we're picking the one beat. One, two, three. And similarly for the D, because the D note is the root note for the D chord, and that's the open fourth string. So again, we've got one, two, three. So that might cause a little bit of difficulty, but it's certainly worth practicing to develop that technique. Now, if I'm staying on a chord for two bars, which happens a lot mostly in the song, the second um, bass note that I pick, the second one bass, so for G chord, one, one, two, three. Now I'm playing that, um, that chord again for the next bar, so I alternate my uh, my pick for the one beat onto the fourth string. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Probably making it a little bit more difficult, but you can stick with the sixth string. One, two, three, one, two, three. And for the C chord, then I would be alternating for the second bar, I would be picking the fourth string as my one beat. So we'd have first bar, fifth string. Second bar, fourth string, so a fifth, fourth, and for the D chord, the 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 um, one beat was on the fourth string here. Remember, so it's one, two, three, and then we alternate this with the fifth for the second bar. If you find that um, pick strum technique a little bit difficult, especially for the C and D chords, you can use an alternative 3 4 strum, which would be this would do fine, where you do two down strums followed by a down up. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two. If you 
want to see more of these lessons on songs and tunes popular in Ireland or other classic uh, sing-along favourites, go over to my website and have a browse, getcrackingguitar.com. There's a link uh, below in the description. One, two, three, one, two, three.